I'm old Lady Smith. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. December 3rd is International Day of People with Disabilities. In Canada, people with disabilities are forced to live in legislated poverty. Benefit clawbacks prevent them from earning a modest living. Veteran Affairs Canada has a backlog of almost 50,000 disability benefit applications, and people with disabilities are still being charged outrageous fees for help applying for the CPP Disability Tax Credit. Will the government develop a national disability strategy so people with disabilities in Canada can live with dignity? The Honourable Minister. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Speaker, and I appreciate uh, my colleague's excellent question. We know this pandemic has deeply affected the lives and health of all Canadians and disproportionately affected Canadians with disabilities. From the beginning, Mr. Speaker, we have taken a disability inclusive approach to our emergency response to ensure Canadians with disabilities get the support they need. We are building on the progress made over the last months and years and committing to developing a disability inclusion action plan, which will have a new Canadian disability benefit modeled after the GIS for seniors, a robust employment strategy for Canadians with disabilities, and a better process to determine eligibility for government disability programs and benefits. I'm afraid that's all the time 